Now, if you liked the make your own indicator experiment, which I certainly did, there's another version of it you can try. You'll need a package of red cabbage juice extract, which we also call CJE. You'll also need a few clean, dry cups, some water, a pipette, and a few sample liquids you can test. If you did the make your own indicator experiment, I suggest using the same sample liquids. So again, I'm going to use this ammonia-based cleaning solution, acetic acid, and some milk. First, mix about half of the CJE packet with about a half a cup of water. This will be your indicator. Like I mentioned in early experiments, indicators are chemicals that change colors depending on whether they're in acids or bases. Now we can start testing. Add a little bit of your indicator to each of these other cups. Little bit, little bit. Then use your pipette to squirt a little bit of your sample liquid into the indicator. In a notebook or in the chart in your instruction booklet, write down what color everything turns. Starting out with my acetic acid, going into this first cup here, I gotta say that is less impressive than this. Now I'm gonna put some of my basic glass cleaner in here. Sort of a dark blue here I've got going on, still quite red compared to what we saw with the, the stuff where we made it ourselves, which makes me feel good about our ability to make cool stuff. Now let's also try our milk and see a relatively neutral substance here. But do we get any color change aside from just it getting milky? Not really, it looks about the same. So based on what we learned in our earlier experiments, the CJE indicator seems to change color in a base, but not in an acid, making it a little less good than the stuff that we made ourselves.